Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Nevik. I'm joined by Tug. This is going to be our last Game of the Night casting. We're going to have St. John's playing against Butler. be a fun series overall. Tug, how, uh, how are you feeling about it? How am I feeling about it? I am, uh, I am very excited to see two teams that just numerically have proven themselves to be uh, teams that should be showing a very, very even showing, right? Uh, it should be a very close one on this. Now, we've just been talking about the top four and what these games mean all through today. And just to report the news, but, uh, no, excuse me, yeah, St. John's and Butler here. Uh, there is not a possibility of either of these teams making it the top four as of right now. Me and Navic did math in between two casters. I think we were able to add enough single-digit numbers together to get the result, and that is a, that is a, a difference of one map actually putting Butler chronolo or numer numerologically outside of the possibility of getting the top four. So that's the tail of the take right now. Yeah, so this game, in fact, we're being played just for fun, but there's nothing wrong with that. You know, all of these teams had a fantastic time. It's it's been a fantastic series. Like it's it, it's sure. only been four weeks, but we've essentially fit what we usually fit in a regular eight week season in four weeks, right? So there's been an astronomical amount of Rocket League being played. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The EGFC here, the Big East Power Finals, two games a week, total of eight, four weeks. Like you said, getting it done here. Double game per week format. Now, a lot of pressure coming on to this is St. John's on the left, Butler on the right. Butler has mostly been controlling this. That was almost on point. Again, big shot by Webbs. Sit down, like you said, neither of these teams. If anything, St. John's want to win this just to have one win on their record. Nobody wants to go out on a 0x lot, you know, like a complete blowout throughout the entire season. Yeah, no, I'm with that. I'm with that. So, yeah, uh, just because they're not in the top four does not mean nothing is attached. These games don't matter. Like you said, St. John's looking to uh, kind of exonerate their name, get their first W, not in the EGFC here season, the Power East, with a winless season. I'll say but, three minutes, you know, 20 seconds of the It's definitely one of those things to mention, though. We saw it way back during the original, uh, the original or well, one of the original invitationals with Georgetown. Georgetown went out winless, and they've come back this season, and they're, they're a middle-of-the-pack team. They have been getting wins. They've been taking, like, victories that I don't think people really thought they'd be doing, and they've been oh. playing fantastically. So, just the beginning for St. John's, I believe, as Zombie Burger puts one in for Butler. Yes, sir. It's uh, Zombie Burger looking alive. We're going to continue on with the crappy pun throughout. Nice little birthday celebration at the end. Three minutes on the clock. First blood struck by Butler. We'll continue to. They'll be attempting to continue this, but St. John's is. Uh, I mean, two minutes first score. That's that. That's about as even a game as you get, right? Yeah. Well, not patiently. Back and forth. Good old just, just in time. Just in time, yes, sir. Classic joke. Classic joke. Oh, I'm fun. sure there's loads of uh, there's loads of uh, jokes across the pond about you know, about that, like uh, just in time. You know the. The, the the fake names, the funny names that uh, you know mean something else. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there was somebody literally called that. To be fair, somewhere in the world. Oh, uh, I mean, time is I, uh, probably a pretty frequent last name, and Justin's a very common first. Whoever name. whoever's parents decided that would be his first name have a have a twisted sense of humor. I'm with it. I'm with it. That that is that is just asking for uh, to be tormented. I mean, yeah. If I had a last name like that, I would be hard pressed to not make some sort of pun myself now. Oh yeah, I Kyle's guess it name, on, who the, knows. on the title. Again, we're not 100 percent sure if this is, uh, this is actually his name, but uh, but, but, but yeah, we're though. theory crafting it at the worst right now. <laughs> but that is uh, that is my default. Two minutes, ten seconds on the clock as Butler put forth a solid two point performance. Now St. John's this might be their first. Oh, what a pick out! Webb's looking like a spider here. If the goal is his, what is his home? Is his is his web right? That was uh, very impressive. Again. Off the backboard goes up. The rule one happening there. I believe that's between Webbs and Justin. Wait, mm. did did Justin just break the the rule one? I'm I can't believe it. I'm not sure. De death without dishonor in uh, in our last game of the EGFC Big East uh, Big East Power Finals, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's one of those things where. Kind of. with you just respect the rule one, but don't have to. 
Going up again. Mm. Zombie Burger looking for the touch. Goes slightly too high. Gets it off the sideboard. Nobody for the follow up there. That would be a fantastic offensive opportunity for Butler. So, solid little play here, but Webbs again looking like he's got eight legs all over this one. Taking it to his side, then midfield, then setting up for team that's not centered very well. But that's just still a good angle. Zombie clips it, but not enough. Again. Is it slow? Is it patient though? Primal. I mean, these balls live in the in one of these four corners for probably 75% of this time, right? There's, there's been very little midfield pushes, midfield takes or dribbles. Uh, it's really, really just rounded up one of these four corners every single time. No, coming down. Oh, there was an opportunity. Butler's going to try and put goal three in, and they managed to find it. Webb's with his first goal of the series. Tripling up now at uh, about 35 seconds to go. This will take a monumental effort inside of St. John's. Maybe some divine intervention to convince you to continue on with the puns and whatnot uh, by the, on their side to take this back for a, at least a tie, if not full W. Now once again, 30 seconds left on the clock. Darren, down. Tom Berger, on top. Ammo comes out onto Justin. Sixth uh, demolition, I think. I'm trying to keep track. And up again. Primal. Oh. Nice. Three centered. Oh, camp. Three cent is it there? Three seconds on the clock. That was a good chance for St. John's. They're going to try and find one goal. No! Oh, no! <laughs> that is. Oh, man. I've been in that situation before, my friends. St. John's. 3-0 loss for them, but uh, yeah, they, uh, they can take solace in the fact that that last one would have gone in if they had another you know quarter second of time. 3-0, lots of shots coming out from the side of Butler here, Navic. Yeah, I mean, that that was a lot of goals. They had a lot of ball possession. They were able to rotate, put on the aggression, find goal after goal after goal, as we say. And it, it worked out for them. There was one goal apiece for each of the players. But even then, Webbs had six shots. So, uh, Sir Aaron had four, and Zombieburger had four. That's 14 shots and only finding three goals. I think we should be giving a round of applause to St. John's for managing to stop 11 shots. No, exactly right. Only only three goals scored on, on 11. That's pretty decent, we'll say. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was absolutely chugging along as we look to get into game two. St. John's definitely seeing an opportunity, like we said. There was a, there was a goal chance right there. The but, very uh, end, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that was Webbs on the side of Butler who uh, what blocked off a series of repeated strikes. Uh, there was another time he played barely in the corner. That's why I was freaking out about the spider thing. Uh, there, there, there was just not just good, but the pinch that he got off the inside of the goal resulted in this ball getting just absolutely ejected, vacated from the side of Butler's, or, yeah, from the side of Butler and, and their goal. That set up offensive pushes that I believe they were able to uh, get a point off eventually. It took a minute or so, but uh, but again, that came off the back of the defensive reflect. Yeah, now, once again, entering that five minute zero zero, St. John's have a chance to redeem themselves as they do. Our camp just carries go. it in. He's like, look, look guys, right? It's, we're, we're just gonna, it's, it's easy. Just, just put the mm. goal. Get just the, ball the ball in the goal. Just, just hit the ball towards the big net. It, it was, it was a five-head moment. It worked out for St. John's. Fantastic play by our camp, actually. That was really, really clean. Uh, I like it. Um, I, uh, yeah, actually, given the, that uh, our last game from last series ended up three two overtime for the side of the Paul, I do believe Navic. Not one hundred percent sure, but I do believe that means that the team who has struck first has won every single time today. Like overall, not not individually, not individual maps, but overall. Yeah, that, that would be nice. Enough webs. Even the out. Yeah, perfect one. one goal per 10 seconds here, right? Yeah. See if they continue on with the consistency. God knows I, uh, I like those even numbers, right? Yeah, 1-1. One, one. Not 1-1 not one, nope. one at 1-1-1, one, one, but 1-1. One, one. They broke the consistency. Oh well. Uh, it's almost like they're not playing for my entertainment. Who would have guessed? <laughs> nice shot in. Primal, nicely done. That was our camp who tapped it up. Dangerous position. Primal getting that one out again. Just vacated, ejected. No vacancy at this hotel. 
again, our camp. Good player. This is the thing, St. John's can put in the work. We've seen it. We've seen them score. We saw our camp literally just carry it. Like Zombie Burger though looks to put it in. You know, there's, there's something really unappetizing about an undead burger. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> it's that's fair. That's fair. Not <laughs> something you wanna throw up on the grill for friends on a Saturday. <laughs> Minute 15 in here. Um, uh, so far, Mother seems like they've been trying to respond uh, in this game too with really longer range shots. Um, a lot of times that is fielded on the other side, so a lot of times we haven't really seen St. John's pushes last so long. Uh, of course, the last one that did last long, they struck first in this game number three, or game number two, excuse me. Yeah, I mean, goes up. Oh, our camp with the save though, that was gonna go in. Yeah, just in time did not, uh, was not there in time. He should be thanking his lucky stars for a teammate on that one. Up once again. Zombie Burger. Oh. oh, goes over. Nice. A 1 2. So, I think St. John's player just wasn't really able to maintain possession. Like, ball was just kind of coming in a little bit fast. Yeah, just in time was, uh,. I think just trying to clip that over the side to have this more of a, of a horizontal movement, go back over in the corner and buy his time a little bit, but uh, just was not able to get there after the second tap from a Butler player. Yeah, now coming in. Burn. Goes up. Zombie Burger bounces it off just in time. Gets a shot onto goal. Webbs is in position though. The spider in the goal. Goes over, looks for the pass. Oh. Pass was perfect. The collect on the end was not. No, the, the, the passer was good, the receiver not so much. Again, Webbs has the ball, sees an opportunity to get it over to his teammates, he looks to get to one-two pass. A bit of miscommunication though, might actually cost them a lot of pressure. St. John's took their first point off of a uh, taking off possession like that. Uh, I, if we see it again before this game is over, I will not be surprised in the slightest. Um, it seems that they do have a little bit of prowess there, a little bit of uh, a little bit of skill in that specific play, right? The the when the pressure is against them, they're able to take it away easily. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And now this this is it. Two minutes left. Reposition by Sir Aaron. Where do we see them going in all of this? Is the question. I was on board there with Sir Aaron for a while. Those great. Uh, what, frame of mind, right? Great, great yeah. awareness based on where he is in the field where this ball is likely to be headed um, and, and what he did, he did not get far away from this ball or from at least where it was going for probably solid 30 seconds. If you want a little Rocket League 101 how to put that last 90 seconds or so. Watch your hand. Zumberger, is it slow? Again, one minute, 25 left on the clock. All St. John's need to do is find a single goal. They have got enough time. The stars can align. Mm. And pl plenty of time. Plenty Absolutely. Of time. They're putting on good pressure as well. Demolition. Oh, alright. Justin Close. just going for the bumps onto Zombie Burger, trying to get him out of goal. So seven <laughs> demolitions across four games. Just, uh, Is that it? Fun oh. little thing I like okay. to, yeah, fun little thing I like to keep up with. Eight now. It's now averaging two per. We did see matches without any though. Anyway, that's just fun for me. 50 seconds left. Pressure against Butler. Oh, I missed. Is this, is this just an open goal? Yeah, it is, it is. Uh, primal there, uh, even if he just, obviously it's kind of hard to, kind of hard to tell these, right? Uh, hmm. If he would came at this a little bit, you know, not not with the with the fire and the flame, right? Um, yeah. What he was trying to, I think, was shoot, was, was, was try and score, right? But if that had just been even like a tiny tap or anything at all, ball just would not have had the same momentum, uh, you know, with that St. John's player or with that uh, 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 Butler player right up the you know, right up the rear of it. So, my my uh, micro plays, Frank. Yeah, on the cam. Down. All right, for clear. Again, patience being had. Up. Carry. He's a little carry with it, but not able to back uh, back with ground from space command. One of those things now is, oh, oh uh, no. my goodness. Okay, and that is going to be time. I imagine we're going to see Butler trying to force it to the ground, or they're just trying to look for another goal. They managed to find it, oh, pick them yeah. up on four. Okay. 
Webb's wanting to make a statement on this one. We got to beat you by at least three. They did the first game. They blew the second game, 0-3 for Butler. First game, 1-4 for Butler. Game two. Now we're looking at a St. John's team with back against the wall. Opportunities on the last. Yeah, I mean, it's now this situation where St. John's need to be able to try and reverse sweep it if they even want to get a win on the board. What do you do in this situation? What, where, is, where do you think their mind state is, like, mentally? Uh, I'm, I'm saying, uh, well, it, it's a solid question, Navik. We've, uh, you know, it, it's one I think we fielded before and just I'll respond the same way I always do. Uh, get aggressive. You have nothing left. You have no more opportunities, I meant. So everything you have left in the tank, just dump it on in there. Go play aggressive as you can. Uh, at the absolute least, you will learn a lot from this Butler team, a team that St. John's will see again in the future. Yeah. And it's the thing. Now we're just waiting for everybody to get readied up so we can get into that next game, which is potentially, well, it is absolutely match point for Butler if they can find the win. Personally, I think uh, I think everybody would be quite content seeing St. John's trying to run it back, but we'll I have to be, wait yeah. and see. I'd, I'd be more than content with that. I'd be I'd be uh, inducedly happy. There we go. Okay, I'd, FBI tugboat here having some serious problems with Google Docs of all things, but we are good. We are awake. We are alive, and we are uh, getting ready to start this possible last game. This matchup between St. John's and Butler. We got uh, what two more for you? Your Navit goes off to. Uh, well, I won't say better things, but he's playing. I, he's I mean, I'm still producing. I'm just hopping off of the microphone. No, no, I'm not buying that. <laughs> Abandoning me on cast. No Absolutely. Absolutely. The, uh, the deepest form of disloyalty and... Oh, my goodness. Well, that's a good start. I was going to say disreputation, but just in time. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, okay, uh, talk about narratives, talk about Tales of the Take. <clears throat> this is St. John's. You scored first last time and did not go forth and win the round. They uh, they broke the mold. Now they scored again on this one. They want to recreate that. Last time it was, uh, what, a, a, a goal every 20, 10 seconds for the first 20 seconds? That was a seven-second goal. Yeah, no, they are they're making work happen here. The good start for St. John's. They just need to not let Butler carry away with it. Yeah, Butler has done a, done a fantastic job of riding momentum, right? We mm. talked a little bit earlier about the differences between a lot of these terms. I said cadence, rhythm, and momentum. Uh, if you'd like to touch on the differences there, in, uh, you know, maybe technically, I'm all about it. I mean, I think I think cadence, rhythm, and momentum are, are kind of similar. I think I think the difference breaks in is when we talk about tempo. I, I feel like tempo tempo works a bit more on an individual game basis, whilst momentum is, is more of the grander scheme. Okay, so so more of team base versus individual player. Base. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Uh, maybe a bit of tempo injured for the side of St. John's. If I'm getting that term right, after uh, that, that was as open as you get on a goal, and the uh, shot was not on point. Zombie Burger with some solid interference here. Ball staying over in the side of St. John's. Again, Aaron. Touch. Butler are going to be trying to find this goal. They do not want to give St. John's a single win. They want to be able to 3 0 this. They want to oh. be able to. Oh, oh no! no. That uh, little ring around the rosy there at the end for our camp. Setting up shop in front of uh, goal, but wait. I'm that messing was... up names here again, excuse me. Uh, that was Zombie Burger who messed that up, right? Uh, I believe so. No, that, Not yeah. Not sure. Reading's hard, y'all. Well, play by play. Yeah, no, he didn't. No, Zombie Burger's on Butler. He just let it pass. I'm a fool. <laughs> Colors are hard too. <laughs> Colors. Are... Oh, oh well. dear, Tug, your age is showing. Yep. We're on my fourth decade here in a year and a half or so. So, got to uh, got to forgive the senior here. Yeah, absolutely. Now coming off. Two minutes fifty seconds on the clock. One to one. Butler's looking to apply a lot of pressure onto this. Break away, this is Webb's opportunity, goes to set himself up, drops it down, goes for a follow-up, Zombie Burger tries to get it, is stopped by just in time. Now, we're going to see Sir Aaron, oh, this is a open goal somewhat, Zombie Burger, what is happening on the side of Butler, oh. they're fighting each other. Yeah, that was uh, not a full pinch, but at least a deflect by teammate over towards own goal, 
uh, did not end up in, but another high shot for the side of Butler leads to a nice rebound, leads to a web smackdown there. That's Butler now on a two streak. Once again, yeah, that's going to put Butler up into the lead. Two minutes and 20 seconds. So we're entering halfway. Butler's just breaking into it as we enter that as well. Are they going to be able to find the connection here? Are they going to be able to keep this up and completely shut out St. John's for a single win this entire season? Yes, sir, that is the tale of the tale of the take. That is important news. St. John's, unfortunately, they have won maps, of course, but have not won overall rounds quite yet to the first seven. Now they're on their eighth, looking to break that mold, looking to finish the season not uh, this. So, two minutes now. And Justin up because of the webs. Few minutes on the clock. I'll, I'll, I'll restate what I said earlier, man. Oh, another demolition. That's number nine. I'll restate what I said earlier. This is a St. John's team that just needs to get hyper aggressive and see what comes out the other side. Shake that. Absolutely. Tree, There's nothing to lose. Out. There is literally nothing to lose now, right? Yep. Because they, they aren't going to be able to, no matter if they win this, this is their lap, they aren't going to be able to get into that top four bracket. Mm -hmm. And I think that is a good thing to try right now. It's just. Just keep throwing things at the wall and see what sticks. Yep. Shake the tree, see what falls out. Straight up. Yeah. Somebody's been playing Animal Crossing apparently, as that's gonna go in. Webbs with a clean shot. Passed by Zombie Burger. 3 1 now, as this lead gets extended a little bit more now. What we haven't seen yet is a bigger lead for Butler uh, than 3. Right? They won round 1 0, 3 round 1, round 2, 1 4. Lots of numbers there. Um, but again, yeah, St. John just need to get hyper aggressive, see what happens. Oh, that was almost it. Oh, but the double come. <laughs> That's so heartbreaking. That's so heartbreaking. That was uh, our camp, I think, and just in time, both going for it, and given that uh, no player was back, no rebound capability. And off the paint board. Big clear. One minute left on Huge the clock. Huge clear. Yeah, that was good. Nobody Good middle. Turn. Nobody played ball that time. That was our camp and Justin again close by, but neither of them went for that time. So the double commit followed by a zero commit. Turn. Oh, flips. Goes over to webs. 44 seconds left on the clock. St. John's looking for one. Primal goes for a shot opportunity. Oh. Saved. <laughs> what a nice save it was indeed. I think it was Sir Aaron down bottom. Yeah. Now once again. Just for the match. 30 seconds left on the go or on the clock. That was the buzzer. I guess you could say this there is, is still possible. 30 seconds for them to find two goals. Definitely possible. We've seen Georgetown do it before. We've seen Georgetown find four. Our camp in the middle has got to hit it back towards. Sand is ticking out of the hourglass. Now we hit the last few seconds. This is St. John's needs to get it right now and then hit it on the rebound. Not going to happen. That's Webbs effectively securing this one up. 3-1 side of Butler. Yeah, there you go. 3-1 for the side of Butler. St. John's losing this one out 3-0. And you know, I'm hoping I'm going to hop off of the mic now and let uh, let some other people take over, Tug. But you know what I'm hoping for? That, that I'm I'm the curse and that we see a, a nice game five coming out in the next series. I would love to see it as well. We've been uh, we've seen all uh, all three zeros so far, even the close ones. We did get some overtime action last, but yes, we will be back with Navic producing and another co-caster in the air. I'm FBI Tugboat. Do not tune away. We'll see you back in a few minutes. We will see you, like Tug said, in just a moment. Thank you all for tuning in. Ladies and gentlemen, whilst the B stream catches up, we've got the team captain for Butler University, Mr. Henry Sir Aaron himself. How you doing, Henry? I'm all right. Could be yeah? better. How, how do you feel uh, about that win? Mm -hmm. Um... I mean, I, I'm happy we won, but obviously, yeah. you know, St. John's hasn't had their best season, so... We came out here knowing that we were going to win, um, and it was, it's more just nice to, I guess, end on a end well, on a high note for the yeah. season. It's been yeah. it's been super tough because I think we're definitely better than what we've shown. Um, you know, I think with everything everything going on, we've had to you know move away from campus. Yeah, I think the the, the team five just felt kind of it's just been off. I don't know if we're all playing super at a high level. Um, so I, it's just kind of an unfortunate season for us. Yeah, a lot of complications, I think, you know, just due to everything that's happening in the world right now. But you did end it on a win. You know, you're not making it to the championship. But we saw some some great highlights throughout the season. You know, you guys played well when you did play well. And I, I don't think you should let it get you down too much. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think I think definitely we did show up for, you know, part of some games. But we kind of just, you know, 
tapered off throughout. But yeah, I mean, I'm happy that we, you know, came out, won some games, but it just it is unfortunate not to have made um, playoffs again. Yeah, but, you know, there's there's always next season in the fall. I believe in you guys, you know, you just put your heads down. Hopefully everything will be kind of a bit more back to a normative then and you can kind of center it. But, uh, yeah, yeah I, exactly, I'm going to let Tug, exactly. I'm sure Tug has some questions. Yeah, no, the, so the question I wanted to direct attention to is, uh, what do you feel that you kind of learned this season? What What is going to go forth and change Butler University's performance in future EGF and other Rocket League seasons or competitions? Um, I think if you can share that, I guess I should yeah. say, you know, coaching yeah. stuff and, and whatnot. No, I mean, I, I don't think there's anything like, you know, super grand. It's very hard to, you know, play one game against one team and be like, you know, learn from that. Obviously, if we had, you know, a full round robin with, you know, games against each goal twice, it would be much easier. But um, I don't know. I think it's we I think we definitely learn things outside of the game more just like, you know, we need to be a better about practice and stuff since we had you know mm. some issues with just players not just not having a lot of time um since we were also were busy so we couldn't practice mm. as much um so i think i think definitely we just need to reset you know just have a summer to you know just keep practicing since i know personally i didn't have enough time to play i i, I was super busy with school i still am um right after this game i'm probably gonna you know grind out some um some final projects but i think we just need to reset we need to you know just practice on our own throughout the summer, get better at things that we see individually. Cause I think it was just, we all, you know, just made individual mistakes mm -hmm. and those shown th that shine through much more against some of the, you know, tougher teams in the league. So I don't know if I said anything like team wise, you know, just maybe we can work on some out game stuff, but I think it's just, you know, improving ourselves individually will improve the team as a whole. Uh, I hear you. So what, what I'm hearing just, yeah, individual performances, the, place where attention needs to go, not so much team-wise, not so much as the group, but end of the day, Sir Aaron, you know, uh, we're obviously in an unprecedented situation right now with the current epidemic, and nobody is going to be faulting any team, period, uh, you know, for paying attention to things simply have a higher priority right now. Uh, once this madness is over, you know, we're back to, back to normalcy, maybe a different story. Maybe we'll hold you accountable then, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I definitely hold myself accountable now. But obviously, there's there's a little bit of a leeway for an excuse. But yeah, I think just in general, it's just like a weird team vibe. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I, don't th so, I think we all just didn't perform as high as we should have. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I'm, I, it's one of those things where I think I'm, I'm looking forward to if Butler does come back in our full season, right, to see you guys striking back, you know? It, it'll, it'll be, think of the comeback story, you know? Exactly. Not the grander yeah. scheme. I, I believe in you guys, you know. We we saw it with Georgetown. I, I'm unsure we might still see Georgetown. I don't I think you said, Tug, that they physically could not make it either. But you gotta think Georgetown's first season, they had zero wins. They were in St. John's position, for example, right? And now, you know, they're ending middle of the bracket, they're slowly climbing up, and that's from improvement and just practicing and things. So like you said, weird situation, you don't think you've played to the highest of your ability, but I'm looking forward to seeing Butler University coming back swinging with like a passion under them to make it into playoffs next season yeah definitely no yeah props with georgetown yeah they, they definitely really surprised us but you know we had we had a one member graduate last semester we're having another member kind of graduating this semester so we're gonna have a new team new environment hopefully it will be back to normal like we all we all hope it will and yeah i'm definitely hoping and i'm gonna make sure that um if we are back in the EGF, we're gonna you know go as hard as we possibly can and work very very hard so we can hopefully get another championship well i fully fully look forward to seeing that and thank you for coming and stepping in henry and just having a little chat with us and uh yeah i wish you the best of luck and i wish you uh on all of your projects as well like you said school is uh no rest for the wicked as they say mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah that's right thank you guys great job casting yeah, no, no problem. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, so this is Henry, Sir Aaron with Butler University. Not the last you're going to be seeing of these guys. Navic, I believe we have Xavier and Villanova up next. Yeah, we do. But B Stream is taking a little bit longer. They're kind of finishing up their game with Xavier versus Seton Hall. So if you haven't, go and watch that. Go and check that out. Uh, officially GF2. And we're going to hop once again to our break. We'll be back with you when that series is over. <laughs> 